Hello and welcome to this very basic guide in uh, getting started with Spacemax for closure development. I'm going to show you how to start a REPL up and evaluate code and um, and then you can start learning how to close, uh, code closure. So let's start by opening up a project. I've already got a project uh, I've created already. So I used the uh, lining and tool. I used line new playground to create a new project very simple project and if we look inside inside this it's got a project file and a configuration and a source code file and a test file as well <coughs> so I'm going to go and open those in uh, Spacemax and so now I'm just going to use uh, space uh, open the, the Spacemax menu uh, and I want to work with files so I press F and I want to find file so I press F again uh, and now I've got a Helm uh, pop-up where I can start typing and it will tell me uh, it will match the patterns I'm typing as I go along so I've got a project file uh, and so it's it's in project so I can press tab uh, and then it's in closure bridge so I can do bridge it's got fuzzy matching so it, it matches up the the right uh, folder for me so I press tab again so I don't have to type it all in and then it's in playground oh, Oh, which is close enough, which uh, so I can press tab again. Um, I could open the project file there, but I'm going to go straight to the source file because I don't need to make any changes to the project file at the moment. Uh, playground, tab, and then core, and then I can just press return when I actually want to open the file. Um, so now this is open the source code file, uh, it's opened it up in uh, closure mode. <coughs> so this means it's giving me the uh, uh, syntax highlighting already and added colors and got colored uh, parens as well in there so it makes it a little bit easier for me to uh, kind of traverse the structure of closure and um, there are a bunch of uh, uh, plugins as well these little uh, minor modes that help uh, do all sorts of wonderful things with closure as well um, but at the moment we don't have it says quite clearly down here we don't actually have a, a REPL connected uh, so we're not connected so that's the first thing we'll need to do so uh, I can fire up a, a closure specific menu from the closure mode uh, by pressing uh, com uh, by pressing comma. Uh, if I'm not in Vim mode, if I'm in other some other state, then I can also use uh, Alt Enter to uh, to get this menu as well. And um, in this menu, it's uh, there's uh, quite a few things. There's a few shortcuts for starting up a REPL. So there's a uh, Jack in closure script and Jack in which is just for closure, so that's the one we want. So I'm going to press uh, quote for side of jack in, and that's going to start. Uh, it's basically going to run lining in. You can see it down here it's running lining in, uh, but it's injecting a few libraries in there that makes lining in work nicely with um, with uh, SpaceMax or Emacs. Um, so essentially, it's the CIDR uh, IDE that's that's basically driving all this closure stuff. That's where you see CIDR down here. Um, and now we're established. Excellent. So now we can actually get some live coding done. Uh, by default, Spacemax doesn't open up a uh, a REPL buffer, but the one is running in the background. If I did comma to open up the, the closure menu again, and did uh, S for cider, and then S for <coughs> to switch to the REPL buffer, uh, and then I can see now I can go into insert mode and start typing in some some closure code. Uh, let's do something very simple and then I can uh, evaluate that just by pressing return and it's given me results. So I can work in the REPL but it's much more useful to actually go in and work in the uh, the source code. So I can switch back anytime I want by doing comma s s to switch back. I can switch backwards and forwards between these two as much as I want to. Um, and I'm actually just going to move this uh, window to uh, uh, to somewhere more convenient. So I've done space w dot to open up this window manipulation transit state, and then I'm just going to use uh, L to move that to the left, <coughs> and Q to quit out that menu. Um, that way they're kind of nicely uh, next to each other. Uh, I'm just going to switch back over to there. Um, now at the moment I'm not in the I'm not in the namespace for this uh, this project yet. I'm only in 
the user uh, namespace as you can see in the in the REPL window here. So I want to change that to <coughs> change into the namespace so I can work with some of the functions. Um, so now I'm going to uh, use the closure menu and it's like S for cider, <coughs> so a comma S and then uh, N to uh, send the namespace form. So it doesn't matter where I am in the uh, it doesn't matter where I am in the uh, in the source code. Uh, this will just pick up the namespace definition at the top of the file, and uh, and it will send that to the REPL. And and now you can see we've gone from being user into being playground. Uh, so uh, um, if we go into the REPL. Um, now, one thing that it doesn't do, although it's changed the uh, it's changed the namespace, we haven't actually evaluated the namespace. So if I do foo, uh, and then um, let's just do a blank there uh, as an argument. If we actually do this, then uh, it's it's going to cause an error because uh, there's no foo in this context, as it says here. Um, so if we quit out of that and go back to our source code then uh, we can simply just go in and evaluate this function and then we can use it. Um, so if we go in, any, we can go in anywhere inside the um, inside the expression, wherever the, uh, between the open and close brackets, and we can <coughs> uh, open the uh, closure menu again with comma, and then we want to E for evaluate, and in this case we want to evaluate the function, so side eval def at point um, and so that's given a result in line the result is the the fully qua fully qualified namespace of this function and if we go into uh, our, our REPL now um, if I do control K I can re bring up my history uh, and I can also edit the history as well Press enter to return, and then we get the value there. Um, let's make that in the middle. We get the value of space return space max. So we're printing out this space max thing to the console, and it's returning a value of nil because um, print line is a bit of a side effect -y function. So we can carry on working like that. We can we can evaluate things in the uh, in the REPL buffer, or we can actually just evaluate things in the um, uh, in the source code file. So for example um, I could go make a change. At the moment there's, you might be able to see there's a little uh, set of little green uh, dashes next to the defin uh, expression which means it's it been evaluated. Uh, but if I go in and change something, so if we do like change word and then change this to string uh, for example, then uh, that little notification has gone away, so I know that I haven't evaluated the the new version of this function, uh, and I can go in. So rather than evaluating it inside the function, I can also go and do comma evaluate an e for uh, evaluate the last uh, s expression, which will evaluate the the expression that's uh, previous to my uh, current cursor position. Um, so there's quite a few different ways to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so all the evaluation is under comma e, uh, and uh, the one I quite like is is uh, eval to comment. I'll show you that in a moment. So uh, as as well as doing things in the function, I can call I can call the function inside the source code file as well. So I can do foo uh, here and do uh, let's create an argument of a string. Oh, can't, I can't spell. Uh, there we go. So now I can uh, evaluate this. <coughs> um, I'm going to evaluate it as a comment. So I'm going to do a comma um, e for evaluate. No, I'm not sorry. I'm going to do comma e for evaluate, <coughs> and I'm going to do the uh, semicolon mark, which is also the um, the comment mark. Uh, and it returns the result as a as a nicely formatted comment underneath that. So if I want to um, 
evaluate a few expressions and I want to keep in mind what they actually are. I don't need to do that. I can just uh, evaluate them as a comment uh, and then I can kind of go back and look at, uh, at them as well and uh, and see uh, see what they what they did. So putting things in a comment is a good way to kind of uh, help you understand what uh, what your application is doing um, and take a snapshot of what's what what, it be, what its behavior is as you go along. Um, that's about it for the basics. There's a lot more to uh, Space Max and closure development, obviously, but I hope you found this useful. And thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.